Hello everyone, welcome to part one of the video. So it's about how to garden smart in container while well, without breaking your back. So the first thing I did was building this platform. I built six of them and I already learned my lesson. Basically use the swivel wheels uh, and I part of the video on how to build the bottom platform. Today part one we're going to cover the bar barrel itself. So I use wine barrel because I tried to use other things. And there's a video shorts about how it fails tomorrow, so I'll tell you what I did wrong. Um, but basically, that was a purchase, and this one I built myself because I might as well just do it. And I'm new to woodworking or whatever, so um, even I can manage this, and I'm sure you can do it. So this is a wine barrel I got in Marketplace. I'm in California, so uh, wine barrel is very easily accessible. Or you, if you even in non-California area, you can get it from the local hardware stores like Home Depot and stuff. They sell it every spring kind of wine barrel. It's probably different, but uh, the idea is the same. You have these rings, so if you buy it, it might slip when it dries up. It, the, the wood shrink and it will slip. So the first thing you need to do is you make sure if you can plant right away, you need to moist it and it has its own problem. But the first thing, if you could add these things, screws, to prevent it from shrinking, in addition to the watering to make sure the wine barrel is wet. So if the cons of making it wet is you can see this black spot, you can see the water stain. Um, you basically are creating more mass for you to sand down later on. It's not appealing. Um, but again, uh, th that's because I bought all the wine barrel at the same time. You might want to buy like one or two at the same time, like, you know, at, at a time and just add these a stud here so that it keeps it holding and not slipping and that way your wine barrel will um, kind of last longer. I didn't stain it yet because I didn't get the time to sand or stain this year. I'm just going to put it in so the plant can grow and I can stain it later if I feel like it. But because it's uh, fake, as you can see, I want to make sure that uh, it's, it's food safe, so uh, that's another reason why I haven't stained it yet. I'm still deciding on that one. Um, but yeah, so this is the platform I built. First thing you do is get your wine barrel. To me, it's the cheapest way. With, with blockers, I also bought these bags. Uh, these are really cheap from Taobao, like a couple cents each. Like a dollar, less than a dollar. Um, the shipping probably costs more again, but I bought it together with my Lego boxes, so that's fine. But uh, these are actually bags. It breaks very easily, but it's good enough for creating that barrier. I did use a uh, fabric and I kind of stable gun it into the wine barrel. Um, and like I said, the first thing you need to make sure is it didn't slip. So that's part one of today's video. And part two tomorrow, we're going to talk about the bottom piece. And if you look at my shorts, you need to make sure, like I said, get good wood bottom platform with good support this is the minimum you probably wanted more if anything and um, the wheels so hope you guys enjoy today's video and check out my part two tomorrow give me a like and subscribe if you want to see similar tips in the near future until next time have a good one guys bye